Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Mohsin Parvez and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this lesson, we are going to discuss IELTS match the heading, which is one of the most difficult question type and students find it very difficult. But I will show you some tips and tricks plus some strategies to find your way to how to solve this question type. So let's go. Okay, as you always do, first of all, you have to find what the question type is that. So in this case, we have IELTS match the headings. So it means reading match the heading. So we have to look at the statements and then move quickly to our reading passage. Whenever you move on the passage, you have to do read for the gist. What is the read for gist? So you have to read quickly. First of all, you have to read that quickly. It means uh, skimming or scanning and some kind of, um, but you have to read the whole text, hold the passage quickly and to understand the meanings and to understand the words and understanding the everything you want to know in that text, in that passage. And the second thing is general understanding of the text. As I told you earlier, that you have a strong idea about what the passage is, what the text about and what the paragraph is all about. And you have to gain a general idea about that's overall, that's overall idea, that's overall, um, you can say, concept of that paragraph. Okay. So the third thing is understanding the layout. Understanding the layout means where the information is at what kind of information is there and what kind of information in the first paragraph in the second paragraph in the third paragraph sometimes we have a information directly on the first paragraph or the second paragraph and we are looking that in the first paragraph or the second paragraph so it consumes our time so we have to be sure that we don't waste our time in the reading test we did not want to to waste our time in the reading text okay so the last one is quickly highlights as you hit so underline all the words as you think you have uh, they will beneficial for yourself to find out the statements so that's all about you have to read for the gist okay here is the text and if you find difficult to read that i can make closer for you and uh, read the text read the passage uh, understand the general idea underline the keywords and read for the gist so these are all about your reading master headings. So uh, read out quickly, skimming and scamming and uh, underline the keywords and that's the basic things here. These are the words that I have already highlighted and they are totally fine. The purpose of highlighting the words is to locate your answer and to get information easily, quickly and to find out the answer with no times. Okay. So we have a match the heading questions here and uh, we have a three um, types here um, the first one is instructions the instructions are given in the form of question number one to seven reading passage one have seven paragraphs a to g and choose the correct heading for paragraphs a to g from the list of heading below write the correct number i to x in boxes one to seven on your answer sheet you don't have to read that truly but uh, you have to just make a glance on that, that what you have to put in your answer sheet in the form of words or in the form of letters in the form of numbers or etc what you want to okay so uh, that's a crucial part and the second one is headings so uh, list of headings we have totally 10 headings and uh, we have seven paragraphs so i i think so that the list of headings are uh, much oftenly uh, as compared to the paragraphs in some kind of IELTS reading uh, match the heading questions. There are some strategies for the IELTS match the heading question type. The first one is read all the headings and underline the keywords. So underline all the special keywords in your list of headings and match them the keywords you have already underlined in the paragraphs. Are with the synonyms so you can find your answer the second is read each paragraph especially the first in the last sentence of your paragraph because not usually but oftenly you can find your answer in the first or the last sentence of the paragraph because if the writers want to tell you something they want to make clear he always put information in the first or the last sentence of the paragraph so it's oftenly 
okay remember there are more heading than you need because we have um, 10 list of headings and we have seven paragraphs so it means three ones are the extra ones so if you find uh, headings are not if you did not find a match the heading if you did not find the right answer put a sign of interrogation there and leave them if you don't know the last one is that if you don't know guess the answer so it means if you don't know what the match the heading is that so just guess the answer probably and uh, it will give you a uh, extra mark also there are some keywords that I have, I have already underlined because of my assessment uh, because these are gonna help me to find or uh, locate my answers so um, first of all I want to share a tip with you so in list of heading what's that main tip and the tip is that as you read through the heading you might already have an idea of which paragraph some of the heading match with do this the first because you have whenever you read the paragraph sometimes you get a knowledge sometimes you get a hint sometimes you get an idea that oh yes um, this statement should be on the first paragraph or the second paragraph or the third paragraph so uh, you can make a general idea about that and that's the tip okay so as uh, in the list of heading below the list of heading number seven definition of crowding and density so i can guess that it should be on the first paragraph because the title of the passage is density and crowding so it means the definition should be put in the first paragraph the writer should describe the definitions of density and crowding in the first paragraph so you can make a guess okay so we have to eliminate all the all the headings step by step so as we are going to make it together so read the paragraph number one paragraph a and we have list of heading and paragraphs so just read the paragraph quickly and skim and scanning all the keywords and underline the keywords that uh, do you think that they're going to be beneficial for you to locate your answers and especially focus on the first and the last sentence of the paragraph so um i think we have find the words problem here in the first line on the very first line of the paragraph a and uh, in the list of heading if if you can see that um one no two no three okay so four what's your opinion about four the list of heading number four we have the same problem word there problem the result in crowding and we have also problem the keywords in the paragraph a so it doesn't mean that if we find the same words in any paragraph it means that the answer is that answer is there no no we have to make a clear a clear motive about all the paragraph so we can find our answer so what do you think it is uh, it is right answer or none so i think so it's a right answer because if you read the first and the last sentences of the paragraph a you will find your answer properly and the solution is that the beginning has the phrase merit merits mean many okay as we read the phrase one and the phrase last phrase of our paragraph a we will find the answer of that so in the beginning and the first very first text of the paragraph a there is the word merit of problem the merit means many problems so the beginning has the phrase of merit of problem and the introductions three trends so there are three significant trends so it means the three introductions three Induces okay introduces okay so we can see that all of these trends are producing increased crowding in the perception of crowding okay so in the four statement the result in the crowding is the synonyms of producing increased crowding so this is our right answer okay let's do it together also about paragraph B read the whole paragraph go through the main keywords and find and locate your answer pause the video and locate your answer so i have already read the whole paragraph so now we have to locate which statement is the correct either it's one two three five six seven eight nine or ten so i have already read a one 
but like psychological so it's that bottom of the paragraph b you can see the last phrase is of the paragraph psychological so we have a statement psychological reaction to the crowding it should be the right answer what do you think so so we have to look at for another and what's about the definition of crowding and density because in the first in the very first text of the paragraph b they already mentioned the density and crowding so which one is correct so i think so the seven one is correct definition of crowding and density because as you can read there uh, they have mentioned the density is the number of individuals per unit area of this unit space and crowding is a product of density communication contact and activity it means they define the density and crowding so our seven statement is the correct statement so why we should not put the statement of three psychological reaction to the crowding because they have mentioned the word psychological but not mentioned the effect of the reactions of the psychological okay so the right option is seven move to the paragraph c and i have already read all the keywords all the sentences all the phrases in the paragraph c and i have underlined the keywords calhan 1962 a number of negative condition developed and as i told you earlier that it is not necessary that the first phrase and the last phrase give you always the right answer but this time it's in the middle and the middle part of the paragraph c in the middle a number of negative conditions develop okay so we have to find the calhan and the negative conditions develop number in the form so we have in the statements we have calhan in two statements like the first statement first match the heading list of heading and the last one so if we read other experiments following calhan experiment offering a clear indication so i don't think so that it is uh, clear indications about the experiments so nature and result of calhan's experiments so definitely this should be the right answer because a number of negative conditions negative conditions develop means problems okay so results are something else so the beginning show that this paragraph outline a study of calhan the phrase a number of negative conditions develop show us the result of the experiment so the x1 is our right answer okay so what's about the paragraph d and uh, the keywords are calhan's results other research and better predict okay and the list of heading um i think so uh, we have only one remaining in which calhan is mentioned in the first one so I, I suppose so it's the first one i suppose so it's the first one so other experiment following can experiments offering a clear indication so i think so it's the true uh, answer because the words here clear indications mean better prediction better prediction is the uh, is the synonym of clear indications and uh, other research as a result of cal calhoun study so it means calhoun's result and other research are mixed up and the result of experiment and result of um, the whole of the mix up of Calhoun's result and Calhoun results in make experiments and indications of the clear indications. So these are the synonyms. Uh, um, so I uh, I definitely say that um, the well, the first one is the right answer. Okay, that's all about IELTS reading match the heading text. And uh, I know many of people find it very difficult, but if you have a strong concept, strong ideology, you can go through every question type without any hesitations. So I uh, I hope so. This video will help you to gain and to achieve your band score highly in uh, your reading text. And uh, if you want to improve in your listening, your speaking, I have already made some videos on that. You can. Uh, visit to my youtube channel and visit to my different videos and uh, i hope so they will be very beneficial for all of you so uh, do the others by your oven and uh, and check yourself by uh, going through a different kind of texts of ielts reading match the headings and practice on regularly basis and the one thing that i want to every student is that to make your concept clear to every question type every module of the ielts that's all so i hope uh, you will find it very 
very beneficial for yourself so i will see you in the next video allah hafiz apna khayal rakhiyega